Hi everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial. My name is Jacobo, front-end developer at Nosto and today I'm going to show you how to use your own style sheets and your own classes from your e-commerce and to apply onto them uh, an Nosto technology in order to create a look like um, Nosto template without uh, messing up the look and feel of your e-commerce. So what do we need today is um, first of all our Nosto account of course um, our test shop, the usual test shop we are using in our video tutorials, and the tool in, uh, which will indent the code. But this is um, this is not something mandatory. It's like something that I will use to clean up. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's pretend I want to replicate this slot here, this widget that is not Nosto, as you can see, because Nosto is showed up with this arrow here. And I want to use this style um, and apply it also to these other slots, that is Nosto. Uh, the first thing I have to do um, is to inspect the call and I'm going to use my debug tool. Uh, in my case I'm using Nosto, um, Google Chrome, sorry, uh, and I will use the debug tool. I will um, edit the code, I will inspect the code and I can see that this is the world widget. This is exactly what I have to copy. So we have to copy the code of this widget and start to amend it. Let's inspect the widget a little bit. We have a product title, sorry, a um, slot title here. And we have five products in a row. Of course, they are ordered in an unordered list, UL, in the HTML um, formatting. And there are five uh, list items. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Then uh, let's in edit the HTML in order to see which is the code. There we go. But of course the code in a debug tool is always a little bit messy. That's why I said we're going to need an indenting tool because now I'm going to copy the code and then I'm going to clean it up a little bit just because you know when you are programming and developing uh, cleanless, especially with the code, it's always welcome because otherwise it's going to be very messy. Okay, now we have it and I'm ready to copy and paste it onto a new ex novo Nosto template. So from the dashboard, I click on on-site, then recommendations. I probably already, you already know this at this stage. Templates here and create new recommendation template. I'm going to call this uh, my template. Okay, so in the template HTML tab, I'm going to pass my code. Here and there we go. So you can see that here we have exactly what we've seen in the debug tool. So an unordered list here and four list items, five, sorry, five list items. So one, two, three, four, and five. We don't need five because we are gonna use only one that we're gonna reiterate as many times as we want, um, as many exactly as many products as we want. So I'm gonna delete four of them. So one, two, three. Four. There you go. And this is how the template looks in this at this moment. And now it's time to apply on it the Nosto technology. So first of all, uh, as we have seen in a previous video um, with um, in which I was talking about which are the, the, the Nosto languages such as HTML, CSS, plus Apache Velocity for the Nosto technology. Now it's time to use this Apache Velocity. And as, a, as we have seen, I'm going to do this again. So for each product in products. So this is an iter and I'm going to close it at the end of the list item. So here. So this is going to reiterate the, li the list item which contains the product and all the product information such as image, product name, product price, as many times as we want because we can decide as many times it's going to reiterate it in the recommendation slot edit page with the max amount of products shown. Cool. Okay, now we start to, um, to place here the Nosto variables and to replace uh, all the, um, the, 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 the already present uh, URL and source for the image and whatsoever. So the first thing I can see here is that there is the, the link to the, to the product page. And this is gonna be replaced as product.url. And here, 
product.title. And here, the title of the, the, um, the link as a product.name. Of course, you can, you can also take off um, things you think you may think is not, are not used, but just for the matter of this purpose, I'm going to replace everything with not so variables so that we can see uh, which are the, the most common variables to use. And now we are here with the image source and I'm going to replace the source with the image URL. So dot product dot image URL. The alternative text of the image is pretty important. Of course, you can take it off, but I'm always uh, I'm always inserting it because in case the image is broken, that is a case out of billions. Um, it's gonna show the alternative text. So product dot name. Nice. Then here we are in the product info section, and we're gonna replace everything again. Here we have another URL. Sorry. And here we have another title for the anchor that I will replace with the product name. And here is the title that will be sh will be shown in the product uh, in the recommendation slot for the product. So I'm gonna replace it with product of name. Then we scroll down a little bit, and here we have the price that is gonna be replaced with product dot price. Clean it up a little bit because, as we said, I'm a kind of cleanliness maniac when it comes to code, and that's good, I think. And here we have like the ratings box and the actions that we're gonna take it off for the moment just because uh, we're gonna see this in the next videos. Now we know that we have replaced pretty much everything we need, such as a pro a image source, the product URL, the product name, and the product price. Now let's tweak it a little bit to reach the extra mile and make it extremely uh, customized and uh, bulletproof so that any, any, any error can come up with this. No errors can screw it up and we want to have a very solid template. First of all, we replace this with dollar title. What is dollar title? Do you know when you open your dashboard and you see the recommendation slots here. Recommendation for you, most popular right now. And these titles that you can edit here in this field. Exactly, this is dollar title. So the, um, once the slot will be, will be uh, once this template will be applied in different slots, the, this dollar title will, is gonna be replaced uh, by the title in the recommendation slot, as it should be, actually. Good, now we're there. Um, something more that we can do is add in an extra control uh, which will impeach the slot and um, to be shown in case this, there are no products to be shown. So look at this, I will, I will set here if products.sides greater than zero that will, I will close it here. Exactly, this has to wrap and embrace the word template because in this, we say here that if the size of the array which contains all the products recommended for that slot is lower than zero so that there are no products to show, um, do not show the product. Of course, you can, you can set here uh, the quantity you like. You can also say like not show the product, do not show the recommendation slot if this product size is greater than five, for example. I think we are there. So now we save this template that I called my template. And I'm gonna apply it. Let's close here. To the recommendations for you and see what happens. So I open the recommendation slot. I scroll down to the template settings and I apply my template. Of course, since that this is our next novel template, uh, we do not uh, have any property to set here for the user interface, but that's okay. Let's reload the page here and see what happens. And so, as you can see, recommendations for you is now uh, 
the um, is now has now copied the style of this um, this slot that is not nostal. And if you want to play around with it a little bit, of course you can also add your um, further CSS within the Nosto template. And let's show it. For example, I want to take away the I want to take off sorry the border for the images. I don't like this for the slot. Perfect. So I know that the anchor which contains the images as a border. Have we seen it right? Yeah, exactly. So I will hit has a product image class. Let's go like that. And I will add here on top of it an extra style. So within here, I will specify ash dollar div id. As we explained, this variable is going to be rendered with the recommendations last name uh, when the when the nostal will be rendered on your website, uh, so that the this template can be applied on several slots at the same time. And here, nostal, sorry, product image. Open brackets border zero important and I close it here and now I save it and I will update it as you can see by specifying this ash dvd here in the template this property even though it has uh, is applied on the same class has been applied only to the product image within this recommendation slot so that we have affected these products and not this one so thanks for watching this video, hope you've enjoyed it and it's going to be useful for your e-commerce and see you soon with the new tutorials coming in. Should you have further questions, visit our support center at support.nosso.com or drop us a line at support.nosso.com.